to Jenna. What did they say? Apparently, it's the best view in Colorado on this hike or something. That's what they say. At some point in the middle of the trail is the best view in Colorado. I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. Previously on C&J's Summer Adventures. This is not a very good situation, but I did crash the drone. But we are on a mission to get it back. Luckily we've got it as GPS, so we just need to follow this line. And as you can see, it's up in a tree somewhere. So it's not what we bargained for, but hopefully we'll find it. I see it, it's there. No way. It's there right is. there. Time. Yep. Guys, I got it. Best view in Colorado. We finally made it. And what a view it is. But hang on a second. How did we get here, you ask? Well, let's rewind the story a little bit, and I'll tell you. After recovering the drone at the top of the mountain, we continued our hike onwards across the mountainside, through the mud and snow, until we finally reached the third and final Blue Lake, which sits at the base of a steep mountain pass. It had certainly been a tough hike so far. We're at, we are at 11,504 11, feet. We have gone up since we started 2,419 feet. But we still got that to go, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually tempted, man. We still got a cliff bar and some crackers. I, I really kind of want to. I feel to make it. I, I want to go see the pass. It's snowy and cold up there, though. Just then, a storm started to blow in, and after some discussion, we decided against scaling the ridge. Okay, so no go on the ridge. I guess. I mean, I hate to turn back, but I think it'd be a fair amount of expenditure of energy to get. Well, I don't think there's any guarantee we could see over the hump. So instead, we decided to hike to the top of a smaller ridge back behind us, with hopes of a better view. With the storm rolling in, we decided to make our way back down to the hut to dry off, warm up, and refuel for the next leg of our hike. How's it going, bro? Pretty awesome. So we had our soup for lunch, and we're all rested up. About to set off on our hike to the next hut. Hut, hut, hike! At some point in the middle of the trail, is the best view in Colorado. I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. So stay tuned. <laughs> Don't turn that dial. <laughs> Just filled up with some fresh stream water. <sighs> Mountain fresh. Right now I'm at 32,000 steps. I'm counting five miles to go to the next hut. We continued our hike through the beautiful forest, forging ahead with the hopes of making it to the best view in Colorado before nightfall. Everything seemed to be going great until we realized we'd made a mistake. We missed a fork. Oh yeah. Dang. Big time missed a fork. Yeah. How far back? Uh, uh, at least a mile. Shoot. What? Guess what? We were supposed to take Blaine Basin Trail. Are you serious? That was really far away. Yeah, that was where he's been. That's fine. <laughs> hut, 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 hike! <laughs> We'd lost at least an hour of time, but we kept moving. That's 200. Uh, that's about 250. What was happening 250 years ago? Let's see. The United States was being founded. Dying! With some gun. We finally made it back to the right trail. We made it. 
Evermore on those Blaine Basin is the way to go. The light was fading quickly, and with a mile or two of steep uphill hiking still to go, our chances of making it to the view before nightfall were growing slimmer and slimmer. Gentlemen, you are so freaking in luck. I think we are we're going down if I'm reading this view of this right. And we still gotta go up, don't get me wrong, but only for about 600 feet, and then I think we're gonna be going down. Don't forget to be drinking, boys. Yeah, I just, I'm just sweating a lot. So, we're right here. Obviously, our trail goes that way. Best view in the state's marked right there. And so I'm guessing that's supposed to be it, that little tra side trail. By the time we finally reached the best view in the state, the sun had just slipped down below the horizon. I hope so many this get a good photo. Awesome. Mine's gonna be pretty grainy. Even so, I don't think any of us will ever forget that moment we saw that beautiful orange skyline stretching before us in the distance. It was our last day, which meant we had to hike back home. Hike. It also meant we had the opportunity to see the best view in the state one more time, this time in daylight. This is supposedly one of the best views in Colorado. And what a view it was. Is this the best view in Colorado? Well, you might just have to come and see for yourself.